want to share just a few thoughts this afternoon with you. Quiero compartir algunos pensamientos con usted. You'll turn with me to Philippians, the third chapter. Y van conmigo a Filipenses, capítulo 3. Philippians chapter 3, verse 13 and 14. The apostle here says, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended. Bishop David Rich, just a few days ago, went to be with the Lord. Faithful servant of God. But if you was around him very much, you probably heard him say, we've not made it yet. None of us here has made it yet. Every decision that I make every day will, will help decide if I'm going to make it or not. Paul said, I count not myself to have apprehended. It seems to me I hear him as I heard Brother Rich, I've not made it yet. But this one thing I do. Pero una cosa hago. What can you what can you do about yesterday? ¿Qué puede hacer usted acerca de ayer? What can you do about decisions past? ¿Qué puede hacer usted las decisiones pasadas? We can't change the past. No podemos cambiar el pasado. But we can make a difference in the future. Pero podemos hacer una diferencia en el futuro. He said, forgetting those things which are behind. Y olvidando ciertamente lo que queda atrás. And reaching forth to the reaching forth to those things which are before. Y extendiéndome a lo que está delante. And this is my main thought. I want to leave with you, verse 14. Y eso es el principal pensamiento que quiero dejarle en versículo 14. I press. Prosigo. Yes. I press. I, I mean to put emphasis on that. I press toward the mark for the pride of the high calling of God in Jesus Christ. Some, some definitions for the word press means to Seek urgently. De buscar urgentemente. An action of pressing. Una acción de avanzar. Or pushing. O de empujar. To follow through. De, de ir hacia adelante. A course of action. Una acción. Continue moving forward. De continuar moviendo hacia adelante. In a forceful. Una manera con fuerza. Steady way. Una manera fuerte. If we're going to make the mark. Y vamos a hacer la marca. If we're going to fulfill God's plan. Us, y vamos a, a llenar la, la voluntad de Dios para nosotros. It will not be because we have a diploma. No va a ser porque tenemos un diploma. It will not be because we have a bishop's license. No va a ser porque tenemos una licencia. Amén, hermano. But it will be because every day. Va a ser porque cada día. We press toward the Lord. Lo seguimos adelante. Come on, we press into it. Lo seguimos hacia ello. With urgency of action. Con urgencia de acción. Press Continuing to move forward in a forceful and steady way. I want to share just a few examples of pressing. In Matthew 26, in Matthew 26. Matthew 26, beginning in verse 36. Mateo capítulo 26, empezando en versículo 36. Then come, then come Jesus with them unto a place called Gethsemane. Entonces llegó Jesús con ellos a la aldea que se llama Gethsemane. And say unto his disciples, y dice a sus discípulos, Sit ye here a while, while I go and pray yonder. Sentados aquí hasta que vaya allí y ore. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee. 
Y tomando a Pedro los dos hijos de Zebedeo, and began to be sorrowful and very heavy. Comenzó a tristecerse y angustiarse en gran manera. Then he saith unto them, Entonces dice el Jesús, My soul is exceeding sorrowful. Mi alma está muy triste hasta la muerte. Even unto death. A hasta la muerte. Tarry ye here. Quedaos aquí. And watch with me. Y verás por mí. Pay close attention to verse 39. Con atención especial al versículo 39. And he went a little further. Y yéndose un poquito más adelante. And he went a little further. Y yéndose un poquito más adelante. Hallelujah. He grasped a little further. Un poquito más adelante. Into the garden of Gethsemane. He knew what was ahead of him. He knew what was ahead of him.
I don't know how much longer the Lord will allow me to live. But after 60 years, we'll be 61 in July. I think I'm able to share with you. This is not an easy thing. Oh, it's joyous. It's glory. But it's not without work. It's not without suffering. It's not without sacrifice. It's not without pressing. This is a pressing way. This is a very important part of this passage. 
Y es una parte muy importante de este pasaje. It says, and he brought me, y me trajo through a través the waters. El agua. Sometimes we would like to a veces nos gustaría get a little further avanzar un poquito más without going through si tener que atravesar what, we're, what we need to go through lo que tenemos que atravesar to achieve that deeper experience. Para alcanzar esa experiencia más profunda. But notice every time he mentioned he got a deeper experience. Pero note cada vez que él me día tenía una experiencia más profunda. Every time he would go through cada vez que él avanzaba the waters were deeper. El agua estaba más profunda. We're going to have to go through some things. Come on, we're going to have to go through some things. We're going to have to press through some things. We're going to have to press through some things. But it's going to press through. We'll find ourselves in deeper waters. And we'll keep pressing through. Just as we see in Ezekiel. We'll find ourselves in You'll never experience those spiritual places. Pero nunca va a experimentar esos lugares espirituales. If you're not willing to be like Jesus, si no estás dispuesto a ser como Jesús, and say that will be done. Decir que se haga tu voluntad. If you're not willing to be like the Apostle Paul shared here, si no estás dispuesto a hacer como el apóstol Pablo, and realize that all of these things are going to be a blessing. Y darte cuenta que todas estas cosas van a ser de bendición. If I'll be faithful, si soy fiel. You see the Lord needs you. Ve que el Señor necesita a usted. Yes, but he can't always use us like we are. Pero nunca lo, no nos puede usar como estamos. Amen. 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 He needed Joseph. Él necesitaba a José. Right? Yes. Amen. His brothers could have sold him to the to that wagon train that came by. Eh, los hermanos pudieron vender a, a la ese tren de carretas. And they could have carried him all the way to Pharaoh. Lo pudieron llevar hacia Faraón. But he wouldn't have been the man that he needed to be. Pero no hubiera sido el hombre que tenía que ser. Right? Yeah. ¿Verdad? He had to press through some things. Tenía que proseguir a través de algunas cosas. Nowhere in the story of, uh, that I see here of Joseph. Nunca en la historia que veo de José. Do I see him failing in any regard? Veo que él falla de ninguna manera. To what the Lord was bringing him through. A lo que, a lo que el Señor lo But he, made, he remained faithful. Pero él se mantuvo fiel. He fled when he needed Amen. to flee. Él huyó cuando tuvo que huir. Amen. 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 He stood firm when he needed to stand firm. Se tuvo firme cuando tuvo que huir. And the Lord would use each of those measurements. Y el Señor estaba cada una de estas medidas. The Lord would use each of those measurements in his life. Cada medida en su vida. To get him ready. Para preparar. To serve in the Pharaoh's house. Para servir en la casa de Pharaoh. Él no va a correr cuando se le enseñe el certificado de diploma. No le va a dar temor. 
What's going to distress him? Lo que le va a estresar is if you pray something. Es que usted prosiga. Amen. 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 If you press on in prayer. Si usted prosigue en oración. Come on, if you press on in faith. Si usted prosigue en fe. If you press on in studying the Word of God. Si prosigue en estudiar la palabra. If you press on, come on, fasting. Si prosigue en ayunar. That's going to cause him distress. Eso le va a causar distrés. That's going to cause him fear. Lo va a llevar al temor. When he sees the church of God. Now this is our responsibility. Let us lay aside. 
things are you're going to have to face. Yo no sé qué cosas vas a tener que enfrentar. But the Lord does. El Señor lo conoce. Amen. And I want to challenge you. Y quiero retarles. And when you when you face those difficult times in your life, cuando se llegue a esos tiempos difíciles en su vida, remember, recuerde. The Lord's using this opportunity. He's getting me ready for His work. He's preparing me. Come on, try to be like Paul. Try to be like James that said, "Count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations." We'll do that. The Lord will use you. Could we in this closing prayer? Let our prayer be. Jesus use me. Use me. Lord use me. 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 Use me.